everyone, I'm Katherine Decina Saplin, and we're celebrating my milestone of a thousand subs by doing a video of my journey to a thousand subs, which was suggested to me by Steven or Steve. Through the magic of editing, it will appear here. So guys, I have five tips for you if you are somebody that wants to start a YouTube channel. See, five tips, they're here. Starting with number one. Why should you start a YouTube channel? The reasoning behind that, you know, is personal. However, no matter what your end goal is, you should start a YouTube for the purpose of finding out if you like it. That should just be your goal. It really should, because this is going to be something that you have to do over and over and over again. It's one of those things, it looks effortless, it looks easy. You probably think anybody can do it, but not everybody does, because there's lots of work that you don't see, all you guys see is the finished product. It's a lot of work and if you don't like a certain aspect and your goal was to do YouTube to make it rain money and you fail, you, you may not like that feeling but if you go in and the objective is to figure out if you like it or if you don't, no matter what, if you like it or if you don't, then you succeeded because that was your goal. So yeah, set realistic YouTube goals. Number two, people cheat. They cheat, they cheat, cheater, 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 pumpkin eater. From time to time on some of my YouTube themed videos, I'll have people leaving comments about how they've grown this incredible number of subscribers in a very short amount of time. My reaction is there's only two ways in which that could happen. Either they had an audience somewhere else and they brought over their audience from another platform, that can happen, or they cheated. This is so important that when you're starting YouTube, your foundation is important. It takes time, but when I first started my YouTube channel, I joined all these YouTube groups and I joined them because I wanted help in growing and building my YouTube channel, but their form of help was by cheating. In almost every single group, they did sub for sub and they had playlists that we were supposed to watch in the group. Don't get me wrong, your watch time and subs are important, but if somebody's playing your video in a playlist and they're not actually watching your video, in the long run, that's not gonna help because the algorithm will figure that out. Also, if a bunch of people sub to your channel and they're not actually watching, your videos that also doesn't help. Number three, create something sustainable to you. Oh guys, so on my second year I created this video uh, studying abroad in France a nightmare where I shared my experiences of just studying abroad and how much it sucked. That video went soft viral and my numbers in my second year were incredible and they've just slowly been going down ever since and part of the reason for that was I wasn't smart, and if I was smart, and yes, bunny ears of death, I'm gonna explain further, I would have followed up the success of that video by talking more about my experience in France. In fact, in general, all my expat themed videos are the ones that do the best. However, while I enjoyed making them in the beginning, it was something that the payback that I got for them wasn't worth it because the type of people that those videos attract weren't really people that I would want in my community or in my circle of friends or just people that I want to know because they tended to be easily offended and just unfriendly. So that's one of the reasons why if I do those videos, it's something that really speaks to my heart. Otherwise I focus on the things that I like, which yeah, like my beer reviews are the least viewed thing that I do on my channel, but I love them. I will never stop doing them. Those are my favorite. Also the writing ones aren't that popular. And yes, my whole theme on my channel is not niche, and so that works against me, but it's something that I like doing. And since this whole channel is sort of just me expressing myself in a visual way, using video in order for me to sustain that and to continue making content and videos, I do stuff that I like. Hopefully by putting it out on the internet, I'll find people that like what I like and I don't need to cater and bend to make other people happy because I'm just going to build a group of people who like what I'm doing and we can build a community based on that. That does mean that growth 
will be slower though, so. Pros and cons. Number four, focus on the non-monetary goals. I know so many people that want to start YouTube because raining down money because they see the success of other YouTubers and they don't stop to think, well, how long have they had their channel? And sometimes it's over a decade. This is building all this up takes time. It's like gardening, guys. It takes forever, but in the long run, it's worth it. For myself, the most beneficial reward that I've gotten from doing YouTube is public speaking. Oh my goodness. I don't know what it is, but I used to be petrified to do any type of like school reports like back in the day or when I was doing Dutch, we always had to go in front of the class and like do skits or something. And I, I did not like that crap. But now I just sort of envision that, oh, I'm making a YouTube video and I can do it. And I always, get compliments now about oh wow just how animated and interactive i am which is not a compliment that i ever got before so for me that's like the best part about doing youtube aside from just all the amazing people that i've met through youtube or through twitter or my blog or facebook because networking is amazing sometimes i sit and think about this too much because it's amazing to me that I'm in Belgium, but I know people from literally every corner of the world. It's amazing. The internet is so amazing. It, it also has its drawbacks though, but it's amazing. Number five, this is the most important one, guys. Be patient. It took me, what, this is almost two and a half? Is it three years? How long have I been on YouTube now? The magic of editing. <laughs> but it took a really long time for me to get to a thousand subs. And along the way, I did have some negative Nancys asking like, why do you still do YouTube? You barely have any subs. And my answer is always the same. It's just something that I like to do. I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. And there are times where I think, yeah, it's a very time consuming hobby, but if I focus on all the non-monetary rewards that I get back from doing YouTube, it's just, it's amazing. And not only that, but I think of YouTube as this just gigantic learning platform where people can share their experiences and other people can take things away from them. YouTube is great. And now I'm realizing that this was just a video of how much I love YouTube. <laughs> Anywho, that's my happy guys this week. A special big thank you to everybody who has hit that subscribe button because now I can monetize my channel. I'm not planning on doing that for a long, long while because reasons, but it is great just finding people who like my content because it makes me feel like we like the same things. And it's validation to know that I'm not weird. So thank you guys. I hope that you like it. I hope more people come and join us. And I don't know, maybe someday I'll start a cult. I'm rambling now, but it's just, oh, I'm really happy guys. So I hope I spread the happiness to y'all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Toot scenes, make apple zines. stupid clock. Ding, ding.